States in the U.S. have varying laws on whether or not to require front license plates, and there are a few main reasons behind these differences. Cost-saving measures One of the simplest reasons some states don't mandate front license plates is to save money. Producing two plates per vehicle instead of one adds up in costs. By only requiring a rear license plate, states can cut those expenses in half. Vehicle aesthetics a front license plate can sometimes interfere with the design and aerodynamics of a vehicle. Car enthusiasts and manufacturers argue that a front plate can detract from a car's aesthetic appeal. Certain sports cars, for instance, are designed without a clear spot for a front plate, which can lead to awkward mounting solutions. Law enforcement priorities. Some states prioritize the utility of front license plates for law enforcement. Having two plates makes it easier for officers to identify a vehicle from both the front and rear, whether the car is in motion or parked. It can also aid toll road and red light camera systems. Contrast with other regions. Interestingly, there's a historical precedent in the U.S. that stems from British influence, as British cars typically only had rear plates. Much of these practices remaining today are simply a continuation of what was established long ago. Resistance to change. Once a state establishes certain vehicular laws, they can be slow to change. The introduction of new license plate regulations would mean updated manufacturing processes, administrative procedures, and public awareness campaigns, all adding up to more work and potentially more resistance from the population. It comes down to a blend of cost, culture, aesthetics, and law enforcement practices that delineate the differences in license plate regulations. It's a unique example of how something as simple as a car plate can reflect broader logistical and historical factors. 